When a pit mix named Mongo is home alone, nothing in the house is safe, not even his kennel. Caesar begins the session by asking Andy and Danny to demonstrate their kennel ritual for Mongo whenever they go out. They invite him, come on, let's go, come on. So they use a very excited approach, and then they just close the door when the mind was excited. No wonder this dog felt trapped. All right, so this is what I, uh, uh, I think we, we can improve. So as you see, it's already an anxiety going on, right? Yeah. Put Meaning the, uh, the panting and... Yeah. and the expression. This, you know what yeah. I mean? So that's okay. the association of this place. That's mm -hmm. why he wants to escape. Yeah. He's yeah. trapped, yeah. you know? So we want him to associate this with relaxation. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of a kennel. That's the whole point of a house. Mm -hmm. Your house is to relax, not to get stressed out. Yeah. All right, so one of the things that you can totally do is... See how he's already ready to come out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's already telling you how he feels. Yeah. So, you see, you're, you, you're pushing, uh -huh. and, and he's pushing. Uh -huh. So I'm just stopping, snapping him out of it. He believes that door open means rush out. Uh -huh. What I'm saying is door open means door open. Doesn't mean come out. Doesn't, Doesn't mean come mean... out. I wouldn't close the door. Why? Because he's, he's excited. Mm -hmm. So this Dodge actually told him, you can't do that. And then the Brian comes out with a different solution. So what, what can I do? You stay back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in a way, the brain is coming out with his own conclusion of, OK, if I'm going to stay here, I can actually be calm. Mm -hmm. There you go, that's calm. So the nature of the animal is when he's excited being trapped is to escape. Yeah. But the nature of the animal when it's being trapped and is relaxed is to wait, you know, so from here. Because he doesn't know yet that if I move away, I expect the same behavior. So I'm breaking it down for him. I'm, I'm going from intimate space, yeah. social space, public space. Huh. The more far away I move, the more powerful I become if he stays there. Yeah. Look at the breathing change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quiet. That's how he's learning about what mm -hmm. is the purpose of this place. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? What was my last behavior inside this place? Mm -hmm. oh. Calm. We try to calm him down before and then get him in. And then he just, uh, and the, and yeah, he get anxious again in the crate. And I didn't recognize it, didn't know what to do mm -hmm. with that, and so I just, it. So what's different about my energy and your energy? I'm just nervous that when he goes in there, something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. He's going to break out again and, you know, hurt himself. It's, it's a tough thought to let go of. It's possibility, mm -hmm. but he's in the now, mm -hmm. right? He's not complaining, look, one day I stay in a, in a crate for an, a day and a half and somebody chewed my owner down and it was bad. But it's not what he's saying. You know, he's saying I went through the experience and I found peace after I went through the experience. Mm -hmm. 